Okay, hello, I am in Austin, Texas. I just got here a few days ago, but it's been interesting first few days. I feel like we have a lot of catching up to do. I think I'm gonna do a whole other shadow and shmoos probably coming next week. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I left Boston a little early, went to Seattle, and now I'm in Texas. I feel like this lens is blurry. So I've actually been in Austin for three or four days now, but I have literally left the apartment one time to get my nails done because I knew I needed to film because I basically just had a non-stop three-day migraine. One of them was the whole nine yards puking all day, shot in my leg, almost an ER one, so the fun stuff. But this is the first day that I have put makeup on. I am out of bed, so yay. But I love how my nails turned out. I went to this place called Coffee and Nails or Nails and Coffee, really liked them. All of them were super nice. You get two free drinks, so I got a Vietnamese iced coffee. They had like margaritas and stuff though. They did a really good job. <laughs> Today, of course, the day I can go out. Yeah, there's like an ice storm in Texas. <laughs> Literally left Boston, missed the blizzard, and then there's an ice storm in Texas that I built off in a couple days, but it's actually cold in Austin this week. The lows are like 20s and then up to like 38, which I actually love. Don't think I'm gonna need all the dresses and stuff I packed yet. Also in the airport and just like so far the few people <laughs> very few people I've encountered have just been super friendly so even though I haven't like ventured out yet which we will do in this vlog hopefully just have like good vibes about Austin really but I got these off Amazon I saw them on TikTok and I'm so curious to try them they're basically like they're supposed to make your hair wavy but they look really interesting so I think I'm gonna film an Instagram reel trying these right now I feel like this is way better lighting but I've been in love with the Dior forever matte foundation that I tried in the Sephora try on haul video that and the rare beauty powder have them both on today. Today I did put on the Pulse Choice BHA underneath though and this definitely makes your skin more dewy like under any foundation. But here's some makeup I used today. So I put on the Haley's Primer with the Dior Forever Matte Foundation. This shade 0.5 Neutral is I would say like maybe half a shade too dark but I like it because I like the undertone and just like warms up my face a little bit. I've been obsessed with mixing these two concealers, Butter Silk One Size and Kosas. And then like I said, the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist powder in the shade Light. I've been loving this Wet n Wild palette so much. I use it almost every time I do my makeup. Also tried this in that Sephora haul video, the Natasha Bronson Glow, which I've been really liking basically as like a blush and bronzer because it's definitely like, it's not my typical bronzer tone. It's very warm, almost like a, it shows up like a peachy blush on the face. Here at Lottie London Super Fake Mascara. Oh, this I put over top, the ColourPop Keep It Crisp Jelly Shadow. This is very pretty, like very metallic, flattering. I feel like this is a good like wedding shade. I kind of mixed these two new things by Wet n Wild. Cloud Pouts, these are like lip mousses, very airy texture. Fluffer Mutter is that shade. And then the pink one is Cotton Candy Skies. So I put that on first and added a little bit of the pink one. I love how my face turns out anytime I've been using this foundation. I've worn this probably like, I wanna say at least eight times now, probably closer to like 10. And just looks so friggin' soft and like flattering on my skin. And it's not normally this dewy. This is definitely the Paula's Choice coming through the BHA if you don't put on a BHA or some kind of like glowy product underneath. It's definitely more on the matte side. But I'm gonna try and film this thing. If you wanna see how this turns out, you can head to my Instagram and I'll probably post it to TikTok too. But I think I need to dampen my hair because you're supposed to do it on slightly wet hair. I was planning on filming this the other morning when my hair was damp, but the migraine happened. So now I'm gonna try this and just kind of like re-dampen my hair. By the way, I am gonna do an apartment tour in this vlog so you'll see where I'm staying right now, but I'm actually bouncing around. I feel like we have a lot to catch up on. <laughs> I'm actually bouncing around to I think three different Airbnbs in Austin because I'm actually leaving here on the 8th or 9th around then to go back to Seattle for Rage's baby shower, which I'm very excited about. It's gonna be like a full-blown <laughs> Rage kind of baby shower. I'm making the playlist. I'm excited. So I'm only in this Airbnb for like a week and then I'm gonna be in a different one when I come back. Anyways, we'll get there when we get there. Last night, I'll insert a photo, when the like big storm happened, there was water leaking through the roof. So I had <laughs> towels down at 4 a.m. I like came to get water. I like stepped in a giant puddle here. Luckily it didn't get on my clothes or my suitcase or my camera, which was over there. <laughs> All right, y'all, this is a bit of a fail. I think I've been trying this for like 40 minutes and I've gotten two of these in so far. I feel like I'm just like massively doing something wrong, but I am doing, I did a part one for TikTok, like trial trying this. And then hopefully there will be a part two where I eventually get this. I'm gonna go watch some more YouTube videos. I've already watched like three. I don't know 
what's not clicking here. <laughs> Wish me luck. Hopefully I'll be back with some wavy hair soon. Progress has clearly been made, but unless you're massively curious about these like I was, I would probably say just you could skip them. It takes forever. I figured out the key though. The key for me is if you have like coarser hair, like not just hair that glides through stuff, you have to really twist at the base so that the clip glides through. At least that's what has been working, but still kind of hit or miss. And then if your hair is my length or longer, you'll definitely have to do two little pieces on each strand if you want it to go all the way down. Like some of them I just left out the ends because I didn't want to do a second one. I did just blow dry it, but I'm letting it air dry a little bit more and I'm pausing to eat a sprouts wrap that I have leftover. I did my in Instacart order. Does anyone else have issues with like containers and boxes? I feel like I open them wrong every time and it's a struggle. Ham and cheese, baby. Okay, here's the hair reveal, folks. Um, that was quite the waste of time. I feel like I get way better results just like braiding my hair at night or using a hair waver tool. Interesting to try. I mean, they did do something, but I wouldn't say it's like looking fantastic. But that was great. There's uh, four TikToks now on my page. I just made some popcorn and this is just like, yeah, the skinny pop. So I got three of them posted so far and then I'm gonna do the reveal. But if you're not following me on TikTok, here it is. I have my most recent fashion pass, but I don't know how much use I'm gonna be getting out of these because I think I got all dresses thinking it was gonna be like super hot in Austin. And it seems like the weather really goes up and down here, which again, I kind of like because some days it's like colder and then it looks like it goes up to like 70 in the winter sometimes. So you just never really know. So here's my fashion pass clothes this time. Obviously I was thinking it was gonna be real warm here. You wanna wear them like as quick as possible because you get unlimited exchanges per month. So ideally I don't wanna hold on to these for like weeks. I've already actually had them for a couple weeks because I got them sent to Boston. I don't really know why I did that. But this dress is super cute. There's like little buttons down the side. This looks like, I think this will fit. I got a medium. It's for Lovin' Lemons brand. Really cute just with like high-waisted jeans. It's just like a silky, it's like a um, not full short sleeve. And I also like, it's like a mock neck. I like when they do the basics, like these are included as you can do it as an accessory kind of, so it's like an extra. And then this is a skirt and it's really soft. Oh, I just noticed it has the cinching on the back, so it should fit. But this with like the black leather jacket that I got from Primark and just a bodysuit or something underneath would look really cute. This is another just like summery kind of dress. Again, I thought this with the leather jacket and like Air Force ones would be really cute. Oh, and then this purse, cause you get an accessory. <laughs> Just wandering around Austin. It's actually the first day outside. There's this super pretty like lake park thing. I think it's called Mueller, maybe. I just walked around, got a green smoothie, and I think I'm gonna lift over to Ladybird Lake and like walk around there. Maybe get some tacos. It actually feels so good right now because the sun's out, but it's like crisp. It's like 40 degrees. Feels nice. I just got back from my first day exploring. I walked like six miles. I went along Ladybird for forever, called a friend, and then got Terry's Barbecue, which I'm gonna heat up right now. I just got it to go. The line was pretty crazy. I'm excited to see if it's worth it. This looks insane. Okay, I'm going to get coffee slash just adventure around with a friend that I used to work with in Seattle who recently moved here. So I'm very excited. I haven't seen her in a long time, like probably like six years. The outfits don't change a whole lot, you know, because I'm working with the same <laughs> one suitcase of clothing. It's like 40 right now. And it's only going to warm up to 50. So and we're going to be like sitting outside and walking around and stuff. So I just have on the light Patagonia. Wow, I like really need to wash this hat or something. For face makeup today, I used the Shiseido Synchro Skin Primer that I love. One of my favorite primers of all time. I put that underneath the Dior Forever Matte Foundation that I've been raving about and then just have on like cream blushes and stuff. But this foundation, man, just really does it for me. I'm in the like <laughs> closet slash kitchen, kitchenette thing. I'm just gonna heat up leftovers. I have like the leftover ribs. All I had today was these 
like breakfast taco things that were so good. I feel like we haven't chatted. I always get like, it's hard to keep track of what you say on Instagram stories, what you're posting on like different platforms. But so far, from what I've seen of Austin so far, I am loving it. I really love it. I'm like actually really surprised how much I love it. It's so cute. Just like with the water and all these cute restaurants and just the, it, there's a good vibe. I don't know how to explain it. Like people are very friendly and open. And my friend who I hung out with today, she's been living here for like a year now. And she was just saying how it's so easy to meet people. Like people come up and talk to you or just like meeting people in, if you live in an apartment building. So if you're someone who's looking to move to like a friendly city, from what I've heard so far, Austin is, it's looking good. I need to dye my roots. I'm getting my hair done actually in Seattle when I'm back at my favorite hairstylist. I'll leave, I'll leave her down below, but I just love the way she cuts my hair. So she's gonna cut and then do my roots when I'm back in a couple days. When you're seeing this, I'm actually gonna be back in Seattle and then I'm coming back here afterwards. Also, one of my best friends in Seattle just got engaged. I just found out this morning. I'm so excited. So it'll be kind of like an engagement celebration as well. So very exciting things happening for some of my favorite people, which is always fun. But basically Austin is like so far and I've only <laughs> literally seen like a few days, you know, of things. Keeping in mind, like since I've been here, it's been a high of like 55, which I love. And I know it's normally not that cold. I know it gets super hot, but an interesting idea would be to be in Texas, be in Austin for like half the year and then in the summer do like a reverse snowbird kind of thing and go somewhere where it's a little bit more heat manageable in the summer. Because you can technically be somewhere six months of the year as far as like tax purposes go and stuff and just like being a resident you can travel or live other places for six months of the year you just have to be the majority of the year in the state that you reside in there's options if i did end up in austin which i'm really thinking about especially now that i know i really like it here i think a big part is just the people i feel like we're gonna chat more about this in shadow and shmoo so i'm gonna shut up and microwave my ribs <laughs> i was getting to ready what i was getting ready to hop in the shower it's like 10 30 at night right now i still had my face on so i figured i might as well show you guys an update since now it's been uh 12 just about 12 hours and normally i do not have my foundation on for 12 hours because i normally don't <laughs> last whole 12 hours for 12 hours of wear i feel like this is what a lot of foundations would look like after like five hours of wear on me it just holds up so freaking well this is what i'm talking about by the way this whole time it's so nice i wear the shade 0 0.5 neutral so i'm kind of doing this in total reverse order but i'm actually <laughs> gonna start packing one of my bags here so that i can drop it off at my friend's place tomorrow so i don't have to bring both of the big bags back to seattle so i need to pack but i figure like while i'm doing that i might as well just like get this place kind of cleaned up so that i can show you the airbnb tour here i just have like so many bags and things everywhere right now so here's all the clothes i just need to pack basically for seattle and then as much as i can fit into the suitcase to leave here i'm gonna leave here just so i don't have to haul around like a heavy bag <laughs> All right, so here's a little Airbnb tour. So this is a studio. It's like in the back of their house. So it's separated off like a little ADU. It has tons of good natural lighting. I missed the really good morning light, but first thing in the morning, like sun is pouring in here, which whenever I'm staying in an Airbnb uh, or an apartment, that's what I look for for filming, especially is like really good natural lighting. Scope out the background to make sure there's like somewhere I can film, you know, but you walk in here, front door, a bunch of books and stuff up here, Texas tacos. I've actually been loving these reading lights at night it's really warm and cozy feeling and i feel like wherever i move i would want to put these in and it's nice that you can like move them too comfy bed over here in this corner is this cute little kind of breakfast nook slash i've been using it as like my work desk work area purse tripod big windows they have cute little string lights that automatically go on at night it's nice because there's not like neighbors directly looking in or anything i love this space heater it's the crane brand so cute you can like just put the light on or you can have heat come out so right now i just have the light on but there has been a few times that i've cranked the heat up and it warms the place up really well i feel like that's the cutest space heater i've seen and they have a tv that i have not turned on yet i never 
use airbnb tvs i don't know why i just like watched on my laptop full-length mirror which i love especially in the natural light it's always a bit of a bummer when a hotel or airbnb doesn't have a full-length mirror i actually haven't even looked behind these curtains i'm kind of scared too oh it's just a door okay so here it is from this corner so you can see the full thing here's the bathroom and i just like cleaned everything up packed one of my suitcases so it looked a lot prettier when i first got here huge bathroom like for this being like a smaller studio like there's a kitchenette not a full kitchen the bathroom is huge obviously double vanity i just have their little candle lit i just packed mine but i am horrible at matches this took me literally like five minutes to try and light the match and get it going i love the black walls love the gold mirrors cute lighting and everything and then there's a nice window right here so you get more natural light really big nice shower as well and there's a ton of space to store your own stuff down there nothing crazy here there's some hooks for jackets i have some purses up there and then that's my laundry bag that i need to do in seattle because that's the one thing there isn't laundry here so i'm bringing all the dirty clothes back to seattle to do this is the bag i just packed that i'm leaving here there's pretty much nothing in this so i might be able to just stuff all this stuff in the other suitcase i'm bringing and just leave that bag here too and then right here there's another full length mirror which again is very nice and then this is like the closet slash kitchenette you have like pretty much everything you need microwave coffee maker mini fridge and then for dishes they just have you put your dishes in a bin and then they do them for you it was stocked really well when i got here this was all filled with cake cups we've got some tea i got snacks these are like my favorite things right now they're so freaking good it looks like they custom made this i think we've got extra pillows and stuff i just have a couple of my jackets hung up i had stuff you know all over before since i'd been here for a week but i'm now packing up so this is the suitcase i'm going to bring into seattle and i've been watching the bachelor quality tv as i've been doing this they also have like a guidebook of their own and stuff and then some like texas magazines definitely do this if you have an airbnb i don't want to show the name of it but like definitely do your own guidebook with local recommendations and stuff it's just like a nice touch i just went on a little walk and picked up some lunch from this cafe in the neighborhood but i got a peanut butter berry smoothie i added spinach but i don't know if that made it in i think they might have forgot the dressing whoops do i go back that is the question there's about an 80 percent chance right now that my camera is about to topple over and fall but i'm actually editing the video that you're watching right now because i'm filming this part of the vlog this last part on monday and i think it's going to go up either tomorrow or wednesday when you're seeing it i am going to end it off here this is just you know the intro <laughs> Austin vlog. I'm going to be here for about a month. I feel like I've said that 50 million times in this video. I'm going to be here for a while, so there will be more Austin content. I will see you guys once I'm back here at the next place that I'm staying, and I'm going to do a shout out to Moose Ketchup. I think that'll be the next video that you guys see. After, actually, no, there's Foundation Friday coming, and then that'll be the next video. So I'll talk to you then, but I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.